did the Kelso brothers remain pure blood, or did we submit to the jab? Or how pure is the Kelso brothers pure blood? No, I said, the, I, said the, wrong, I said it wrong. Sorry. How pure is the Kelso brothers blood? Right. Okay. <laughs> so it's a bit of a controversial topic, right? People want to know. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> but it would be private information, wouldn't it? Fortunately, these days we have something called human rights, which I'm very grateful for, where you don't get discriminated against for a personal choice. Uh, isn't that right? Yeah. I mean, it's been li- it's been a lifesaver the last few years, hasn't it? Yeah, none of that happened, did it really? Um, you know, we're watching the Australian Open at the moment. Djokovic was allowed to play all the tournaments he wanted to play because of his personal choice. What he wanted to yeah, do. I play. know. Yeah. So thank, aren't you just thank grateful? God, thank God for human rights. <laughs> uh, anyway. Did we submit to the jab? Because this is the ultimate test in it, really. A lot of people were claiming they were awake all along. Oh, yeah, we knew it's lies. We knew... You had enough time to wake up. They only started pushing that that miracle cure on the public literally a year or a half... Year and a year and a half into the lies. So there's a miracle cure? What? Yeah, a miracle... I think you stick it in your arm and it sort of saves you from something that didn't exist in the first place. Yeah. It's, a lot it's, pe- it's an interesting theory, but... <laughs> Theories don't always work out in practical scenarios, so... Well, put it this way, we're still alive, aren't we? And many of my other friends who didn't take the miracle cure are also still alive. Yeah, but did we submit? I'm not even answered the question yet. Did we'll, we submit? We're going to save that. We're going to save that to the end. Because this oh. is, like I said, the ultimate test. Okay. A lot of people claiming they're awake, you know. But, if you took that thing, then you clearly fell for the lies, didn't you? Or, you were just beaten into submission. <laughs> yeah, beaten into submission. Not nice for a lot of people. I saw people cry over literally what happened to them. Yeah, literally uh, did. Yeah, literally. But anyone did. who took that thing, it's too late to say, "Oh, you knew all along." You supported the destruction of society in many ways. We're not going to go into that. Yeah. And everything that came along with it. And uh, we, li- you know, on that point, we literally did see someone cry. In fact, he, he was in a situation where he was threatened he would lose his job if he didn't submit. And he had a family to look after, and he was the yeah the man in the house looking after the family. And he was pressured so much, he took the, took the thing that he didn't want to take, miracle cure. Uh, and then, yeah, he's actually really not happy with his decision. And he's, yeah, hurts him. Yeah. He's crying. And that's what happened, that's what you did. Yeah. Look at that's what you did. But it's not just about submitting to, to the thing, it's about submitting to the face nappies as well. Yeah, the face nappies. That was uh, another, another phase. Did you wear a mask? Oh, it's alright It's all right now, isn't it? To say, oh yeah, you didn't believe it all along. You know, this is a bit, bit boring, we're just like digging them. Like, yeah, but you haven't even told them we've submitted yet. Uh, yeah, I was going to make a point about that. I'm not answering the question, but I was going to make a good point about it. Are we and pure? Uh, just, are we pure? Yeah, right. my blood remains pure. <laughs> Let's just say that. Mine, mine remains purer than and yours. It, and it will remain pure. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to check something out. I think, uh, Carry on. Pure, pureness, how pure you are, depends on loads of things because obviously if you if you are injecting yourself with random things then yeah it's obviously not pure but that's just one element you know you could be what do you call it you could be uh, what do you call it what's the opposite of pure dirty, dirty. <laughs> that's what your blood's like that's what your blood's like no no you could be dirty from other things as well I'm saying we're just talking about the magical uh, miracle. miracle cure jab. last few years yeah jabba jabba yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, well, I looked at some notes then. And I just wrote it down just to rub it in your face even more. I wouldn't have took that thing, taken that thing, taken that thing, even before I knew the whole thing <laughs> came about, because we knew the thing was all a lie, and they were gonna. Right, so just think about it in your own brains. Why would they stage such an event if they're not going to use it for some gain on the other end? So we knew it, we knew some miracle cure was coming. We knew it would be used to justify uh, more loss of human rights. Actually, I want to more say loss. Wait, wait. Potentially more loss of human rights. You need to stop talking over me on crucial pits, Luke. We knew it would be used to justify all these things, and potentially even used to justify loss of humans. But that is controversial. That's a touchy topic, right? But the point is, you got to understand these things will be used and abused for the for the for the greater good. Or 2030. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, this is actually a point you tried to use. You raised something there, and it wasn't fully truthful, actually. Well, it wasn't my case. I didn't know, you know, back in the old days, back three years ago, <laughs> yeah. that, it, that it wouldn't be used for any different kind of agendas or any of that stuff. I just knew 
from common sense and logic that some mad there's some what the way it was what you call it staged yeah. play acted on TV in China in event 201 yeah. two years no, before no, the whole no, thing no, came actually, about no, no, I wasn't even talking about that yeah. I talk, no, that comes after I'm saying when we actually saw stuff on TV on the news scaring everyone right just from common sense you know something like that can't happen yeah. and then it smells spreads oh, it spreads oh, no, no, no. Everyone's, everyone's panicking out of their mind buying toilet roll like idiots yeah. right before you even know about the other side of it all that in itself should just sound sound completely stupid yeah. with common sense it's not about like uh, learning the whole flipping agenda because that's no. just that's just a that's just a reason that's the reason why oh, that's why they did it that's why they did oh, that yeah. we don't even need to know why they did it a good example is this you shouldn't have to wait for like some science to come out to tell you that something's obviously a lie or stupid you know you should just use your own common sense for example how can a test possibly detect that you have something that is supposedly you can have without any symptoms but then obviously a year later we find out the whole test was fraudulent it was even the inventor of the test, Carrie Mullis, probably not even allowed to say his name on here, said that that test should never ever be used to detect a virus. Right, so I've said the, I've said the dangerous word now. Yeah. I have to bleep that word out. And uh, yeah, so just common sense in it. And seriously, me and Luke are the only people that we know in our circle, and we have a huge, huge circle, now that, we, that didn't fall for it, and we didn't have any fear, didn't let the media fear us into anything. From day because one. From day one. Day one. Because we are in touch with nature, I'm not stupid. We don't we don't cry over surfs over dirty surfaces, or that someone's breathed in our vicinity, or that you know. You get the point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I think we've I think we've answered the question. And there's a lot of logic we missed out, but let me just leave it there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, actually, don't send them to us uh, because we won't be able to answer them. No, maybe, at least, maybe, at least maybe, maybe send them in like a completely cryptic, completely, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Leave it. Confidential letter. Yeah, to us. So it's untraceable. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the content if you like it. And we'll see you in the next one.